What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm unboxing the brand new Supreme Blue Burner Phone. Why did it come in a box this big? I have no idea actually. If you want to see more unboxings like this, I actually have an entire unboxing channel for stuff that isn't sneakers, and I was kind of debating whether I should put this video on that channel or this channel, but I felt like this is sort of a main channel type of video. So if you'd like to check out that channel where I unbox a bunch of different tech, in fact next week I'm unboxing the brand new Google Pixel 4, make sure to click the link in the description below and hit subscribe. I'm also doing a sneaker giveaway on that channel soon, so stay tuned. But without further ado, let's jump right into the unboxing of the Supreme Burner Phone and find out why it's in a box that's a sneaker size box, because this is ridiculous. Ridiculous. It also feels like an empty box. They could have genuinely sent me an empty box. I don't usually unbox Supreme stuff or even buy Supreme stuff. I realize I'm wearing a Supreme hoodie right now, but this is like the only Supreme piece that I own. So uh, this was kind of a new thing for me. I just figured it'd be a fun video to unbox the Supreme phone and I don't even know if I'm going to keep it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but we'll see. I also considered buying a SIM card for it as well, but I didn't end up doing that. Maybe in the future. So I guess let's find out why this box weighs nothing. Here we go. We got paper, no surprise there. Is there nothing in here? We've got stickers, we've got Supreme stickers, we've got, pop this guy open. Standard Supreme box logo, picture of some woman in front of a billboard, great. And then we've also got a, let's see, world famous Supreme American pasteurized cheese product. That sticker's actually pretty cool, I'm not mad at that. I really love that sort of pop art look. That was literally everything that was inside the box except for this paper. I'm hoping the phone is in here somewhere. Uh oh, is that serious? This entire box for this tiny ass little phone. This is like a joke, this is seriously a joke. I don't understand what's going on here. Wouldn't it be more expensive to ship this larger box than a tiny box? So this tiny little box I think is the actual box for the phone. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's smaller than my entire iPhone. Look at that, you can't even see it behind my iPhone. So according to the tag, this is the blue, which stands for Bold Like Us, which is the phone brand. Zoe 2.4 3G. So this is a 3G phone. I mean, it's a burner phone, so I guess you don't need anything else, but... Damn, it was 70 bucks, man. <laughs> it wasn't cheap. I guess in today's smartphone world, that's cheap, but this isn't really a real smartphone. I mean, it's got, okay, it's got internet, so I guess it is a smartphone. It's just blue smartphones on the front, so... Technically, it's a smartphone, but... I don't know. So you got some of the specs on the side of the box. Things like uh, 3G high speed data. Nice. 2.4 inch display, VGA camera. It's like my Razer from 2005. Uh, up to 32 gigabyte memory on a micro SD, Bluetooth, and a flashlight. Wow, a flashlight's a feature on this phone. Great. As you can tell by the red sticker and also the image on the side of the box, I got the red Supreme phone, which I believe is the more coveted version because it's Supreme Red. Why did I spend $70 on this? I mean, at least I didn't pay resale, but still, 70 bucks for a red phone that says Supreme on it. So there we go, the Supreme phone right there in the top of the box. Let's pull it out and put it off to the side, see what else we get. Um, some information on a nice little sticker. We've also got what looks to be the charger, losing the resale value right here. <laughs> it looks like it comes with a micro USB charger. Yeah, I guess that's good. Um, we've also got a blue branded battery. And then what looks to be a nano SIM adapter. Oh, okay. So this phone actually comes with a 16 gigabyte micro SD card, which is nice. I can't see anyone actually using this phone for real, but you know there's some people out there who definitely will. I don't want to meet those people. Okay, and the last two things inside the box are your manuals. You've got your uh, Supreme branded manual, which is actually kind of surprising. I didn't think that they'd print a whole new manual for this, but apparently they did. And also RF exposure information and uh, FCC regulations. I feel like people who are buying the regular version of this phone don't really care about FCC regulations, but I could be wrong. So why don't we check out the phone itself? I'm actually kind of excited to see it. See what I spent 70 bucks on. There we go. There it is, the Supreme Blue Zoe 2.4. Interesting looking phone. I actually am surprised by the quality of the plastic. It feels hefty and it doesn't even have the battery in it yet. It's actually not a bad feeling or even bad looking little phone. I don't mind it. I would never use this. I mean, I guess I could if I needed to, but I'm not planning to use this, but if I had to, 
I wouldn't hate it. I wouldn't hate this in like 2005. It is pretty much exactly what I expected. <laughs> but surprisingly, one little detail or feature that they didn't mention on the outside of the box is the fact that it has a built-in FM antenna, so you can tune to FM if you really want to. I guess that's a perk. My current phone can't even do that, so let's pull off the plastic on the screen and throw in the battery. How does this bag come off? Oh, right here. If I break this phone, I'm gonna be so mad. I could actually probably still resell it if I broke it. <laughs> There's the inside of the phone, if you were interested at all, if you cared. Also, the back of the case shows that it is just standard white plastic that's just been painted gloss red. It's not even molded red plastic. You can see on the edges where the, uh, the overspray is. Okay, so let me throw this back on and we'll turn this guy on. It actually says Supreme right when you turn it on. Nice, the Supreme logo spun around even. Oh, no way, it's dual SIM. Hey, that's cool. You can have two different phone numbers if you want. There are going to be so many resellers who use this phone, it's ridiculous. Okay, so you've got different profiles. You've got normal ring, silent, meeting, indoor, outdoor. And it looks like the wallpaper is just a black wallpaper with the Supreme logo. You know, expect nothing less. You've got call history, organizer, and web. Oh, you've got games! Bubble Party Mix and Pure Jump. I'm going to be honest, the screen is not the worst. How do you play this? So you're a frog and you're jumping from pad to pad. <laughs> And you hold down five, ah, uh, splatted the frog. Okay, let's try bubble party mix. See how that goes. Story mode, endless mode. Let's try story mode. How do we rearrange the bubbles? Do I click it? Ah. I'm killing it. I'm killing it. This is better than Xbox. This is great. I'm lying, this sucks, this is awful. There are two games and they both kind of suck. Multimedia. Ooh, we should try the uh, the camera on this thing. Let me take a picture of my setup. Capture. Oh, that's garbage. That's the worst. That's a really terrible picture. Wow. Okay, but I'm gonna save it. You could actually buy a $70 digital camera that would be nicer than this. So wait, you can't listen to the FM radio without headphones? Why is that? Do they become the antenna? Is that a thing? Are there any videos on here? Here, let me actually record myself. What's up guys, it's Seth Fowler, and today I'm recording the worst video I've ever recorded, and it's on the Supreme phone. Hope you guys like it. Wait, pause? Oh, shit, it's recording right now. <laughs> Damn it. What's up guys, it's Seth Fowler, and today I'm recording the worst video I've ever recorded. This is terrible. The audio doesn't even sync up with the video. I do have to say though that the quality of the printing on that Supreme logo came out really, really nice. Also the silver Supreme underneath the screen came out pretty nice as well. I mean, they did a good job with branding. It's a nice looking phone. They really did a good job with that and it genuinely feels better quality than I would have expected. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's ridiculous and it kind of sucks in more ways than one, but uh, hey, if you're into Supreme stuff, it's a pretty cool little thing. Is this phone necessary? Absolutely not. This is the most unnecessary thing I've ever bought. That's not true. This is one of the most unnecessary things I've ever bought. And also, the size of the box that it came in. What's that about? Looks wise though, the shade of red that they used and the saturation of the red, not too shabby. Just like with every other Supreme thing, these phones sold out in seconds. And right now they're reselling for about 150 bucks two days after they dropped, which I'm sure over time will go up even more. I wouldn't be surprised if in a year these guys go for two to 300, especially if people like me actually open them up and use them because once they're out of their retail packaging, they're not worth as much. So uh, who knows? We'll see what the resale price is in a year, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's up there. But let me know in the comment section down below whether you were trying to grab one of these for yourself or maybe if you did grab it or if you think that everyone who bought one of these is an idiot, including myself. So let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to check out my brand new unboxing channel which is linked in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, hold on, gotta take this. Yeah, man, you want a kilo? I don't know what the hell I'm selling a kilo of. <laughs>